Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin with another update and a final one actually on this New Egg versus Connecticut controversy. Uh, New Egg has agreed to begin collecting Connecticut sales taxes as of July 1 for anyone in Connecticut that buys from New Egg. This is a pretty big development in this issue, but unfortunately, uh, this is what New Egg should have done in the first place as opposed to doing it now after a lot of damage and trust. Uh, was broken uh, with their customers. And if you haven't been following what's happened here, I'll just give you a brief summation. Uh, over the summer, the state of Connecticut sent a letter to New Egg giving them a choice. They can begin collecting Connecticut sales tax from Connecticut customers, or they can turn over customer sales data to the government uh, so that the Connecticut Department of Revenue Services can go out and collect back use taxes from Connecticut customers. Uh, the law here in Connecticut and many other states is that if you buy something out of state and don't pay sales tax on that item, you as the customer are liable for paying the sales tax that you would have paid uh, if that retailer collected tax. And uh, this has been an issue that many states have been dealing with because they're losing a lot of retail trade to online retailers. And as a result, they're losing a lot of sales taxes in the process. But over the last couple of years now, as these online retailers have grown, uh, they've been putting distribution centers in various states, which then requires them to collect sales taxes, which is why if you buy from Amazon, uh, you are likely already paying taxes on those items. Now, the issue here, though, is that Newegg, in my opinion, was not very uh, upfront with customers, nor were they very honest with customers, because they said a law had changed which required them to do this. But the reality is the only law that changed was that uh, Connecticut was coming up with a, a means of imposing fines on companies that didn't respond to requests from the Department of Revenue Services. But the department always had the ability and the right uh, to make these requests. But it's still an open question as to whether or not Newegg actually was uh, required to collect Connecticut sales tax in the first place, which would have made uh, these fines kind of a moot issue. But nonetheless, they, they just decided to look after their own self-interest and not those of their customers and turned over all of the customer sales data. And then the Connecticut Department of Revenue Services began billing uh, customers, including myself, uh, for back taxes. Now, I did a whole bunch of videos on this already, including an interview with Connecticut's Department of Revenue Services Commissioner. Uh, so you can see all of that linked down below in the playlist. So I want to cover what's happened over the last couple of days. Now, over the weekend, about three or four days ago, I got this email literally in the middle of the night on uh, Saturday morning, essentially, from New Egg. And there are two misleading items in this email. The first here is about House Bill 7312 that I talked about in the Monday night wrap-up video. You can get more information about why that's misleading in that video in the video description. Uh, but they also talk about the fact, first of all, that they realize now that this wasn't the best way to do right by our customers. They don't apologize, but they at least admit that they probably should have just started collecting sales tax in the first place and prevented this breakdown of trust with us. Uh, they also say, we know we can't undo our actions, but they've been working behind the scenes to find a better solution that fulfills Connecticut state tax obligations and protects the interests of their customers. And what they announce here is that uh, they believe that Connecticut, as of March 19th, will no longer pursue collection of sales taxes from Connecticut customers. And they say, hey, if you can provide notice from Connecticut dated on or after March 19th related to sales tax purchases, and if you paid the taxes, Newegg is going to help you get a refund on the taxes paid. Uh, this turns out to be completely false because if you got a letter, as I mentioned, you owe the tax. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. And I'm sure what happened here is that a lot of people started calling the Department of Revenue Services and got a very different answer uh, than what Newegg sent them in this uh, Friday night email that said, by the way, confidential, do not forward. So I almost wonder if maybe uh, this was going around inside the office and they uh, sent it out prematurely. Uh, because clearly all the information in this email was not correct. So then on uh, Tuesday morning, which is uh, yesterday, I got this email from New Egg saying we wanted to send a follow-up note about the last Friday email. Uh, we understand many customers now have more questions because that email really didn't say much. And then uh, they intimate here that um, if you haven't yet paid the assessment, in other words, if you got a letter and didn't pay it, uh, we have been assured by the Connecticut Department of Revenue that it does not intend to continue enforcement of any assessments you may have received pertaining to purchases made at Newegg between these two dates. And that actually is not true. Again, if you got the letter, you owe the tax. This is not going to go away uh, because they have reached an agreement. What Connecticut is saying, though, is that they have stopped sending out more enforcement actions as of March 7th. They've basically ceased tax collection efforts 
uh, based on Newegg's uh, commitment here to comply on July 1st, 2018 by collecting Connecticut sales tax. But this does not stop them from collecting tax on letters that they sent out prior to March 7th. So again, if you got a letter, you owe the tax. I just want to keep saying this because Newegg is leading people in the wrong direction. If you're not sure if you owe the tax or not, or you believe you might have a good reason not to pay it, uh, I would suggest you call the Department of Revenue Services. There's a number here at the bottom of the uh, press release here so that you can find out from them directly exactly what uh, the circumstances are here for your particular situation. But the reality here is that uh, Newegg has just been continually misleading customers. I don't know if it's just incompetence or if they uh, really just don't care, but uh, the reality is that this could not have been handled worse by the company. What they should have done was just started collecting sales tax in the first place, like most of their competitors are doing now, and uh, none of us would have been put in this situation. So here's what I want to see from Newegg. First of all, they could at least apologize. Use the words, I'm sorry, or we're sorry, and we apologize. That would be a good start, uh, maybe to start building back some trust. And I think they should really consider maybe giving credits to customers uh, who paid this tax. Now, granted, we were liable for this tax. I'm not questioning the law here, but uh, the way Newegg handled this, they were given a very clear choice. Their choice was collect Connecticut sales tax or turn over the customer data. They opted to turn over the customer data without much of a fight, if any, uh, and got a lot of customers pretty angry with them to the point that I will be uh, halting my uh, purchase of items from Newegg, nor am I going to be referring people to Newegg. In full disclosure, the uh, Intel NUC that I reviewed the other day, I did end up buying from Newegg because I wanted to review it, and they were the only ones with it at that moment in time, but I am not pointing people at Newegg to buy this device, and I will be uh, certainly shopping elsewhere as often as I can because I have zero trust in this company and I don't feel comfortable recommending them to others. But they could really earn back my trust and many others if they really work to make this right, which is, I think, uh, issuing some kind of refund, a sizable one, to all of us that were impacted by uh, this very poor decision they made on this particular issue. So that is it for this issue with New Egg here. And uh, I hope this is the end of the story. I would like to maybe do one more follow-up where they actually do something to make things better for the customers that were impacted by this. I doubt that they will. They haven't even apologized, so I don't expect much here. But if they do, I will uh, update you on the wrap-up or on my Facebook page or Facebook group, uh, which you can find down below in the video description. So I want to thank everyone who was giving me information on this story because a few of you who got those emails before I did uh, sent them to me, which was very helpful. And uh, hopefully we won't have to talk about this issue again, but if something happens, we'll definitely uh, keep you up to date on all the developments. Thank you again, and I will see you next time. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast. Chris Allegretta and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.